Hi, in this video, let's create a simple gradient background generator using HTML, CSS and a few lines of JavaScript. So in the HTML file, let's first add a div and let's give it a class of colors. Inside this div, we'll be adding two input tags with a type of color. Also, let's give it a class of first. Let's duplicate this. We'll change this to second. So that is all we need for the HTML. Now let's add a few styles. We'll go to our CSS file. First, let's vertically and horizontally center the color pickers. So we'll select the body. We'll give it a height of 100 VH. We'll set the display to flex. Justify content to the center and align items to the center. Now let's style the inputs. We'll change the default shape of rectangle to circles. So let's do that. We'll select the input. We'll give it a height of 60 pixel, width of 60 pixel, padding of 0. We'll remove the default border. Also, if you look closely, it has a light background color. So let's set the background color to transparent. And this is what we have. Now, if you click on one of these colors, you can see that the outline appears. So let's remove this default outline. So we'll set the outline to none. And now if you click on it, the outline doesn't appear. Finally, we want to change the squares to circles. So let's do that. We'll give it a border radius of 50%. But if you check in the browser, this doesn't work. And this is because we need to target the color swatch in order to change its styling. So for that, we'll be using the color swatch pseudo element. So let's do that. So we'll select the class of first. We'll add two colons. We'll add the WebKit prefix and then add color swatch. Now let's give it a border radius of 50%. Now as you can see in the browser, one of the color pickers has the shape of a circle. So let's do the same with the other color picker. So we'll add a comma. We'll select the class second. We'll add WebKit. And we'll say color swatch. And this is exactly what we need. Also, let's add a border to both the color pickers. I'll give it a border of 4 pixels, solid 888. Now, if you select a color, this does not work. And that is because we have not yet added our JavaScript. So let's do that. We'll go to our script file. First, let's select the body. We'll say document, query selector, body. Also, let's select the two color pickers. So we'll create a constant named first and we'll say query selector. We'll select the class of first. So let's duplicate this. We'll change this to second and the name of the constant to second. Now we need to create a function that sets a linear gradient background to the body as soon as we select the colors. So let's do that. We'll create a function named gradient. So we'll select the body and we'll say style. We want to set a background. So we'll say background equals to and here we'll be adding a template string. So let's add a pair of backticks and inside this we'll say linear hyphen gradient. This linear gradient is going to start from the left and move towards the right. So we'll say to right and we'll add a comma. And now we need to add the first color in the gradient. So this color is going to be the value of the color chosen in the first color picker. As this is an expression, we'll be adding a dollar sign and a pair of curly braces. Within this, we'll say first dot value. Similarly, we need the second color in the gradient and this will be second dot value. 
Finally, all we need to do is add this function to our two color pickers and trigger it when someone selects a color. So let's do that. So we'll say first and add an event listener of input and we'll add the gradient function. Now let's check it in the browser. We'll select the first color. And as you can see, the color has been added. However, the second color is not yet working. So let's work on it. So all we need to do is just duplicate this line and change this to second. And now let's select the colors. So I'll select the first color and I'll select a second color, which is a shade of probably blue. And that's it. That's a simple gradient background generator you can create using HTML, CSS and just a few lines of JavaScript. So hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, have a nice day.